My name is Marissa Sullivan. I'm a psychology instructor and chair of social sciences at Durham Technical Community College. I've been teaching for 10 years. Nine of those have been teaching online. And for eight of those, I've been using Sakai. I teach psychology courses. Most of my online courses are developmental psychology courses where students are studying the various aspects of human development from conception to death. And one of my unofficial learning outcomes in this course is the impact of culture and diversity within groups of people as we move through all these topics in human development. So students are assigned a country each semester and they have to research that country on these little mini assignments. And this all culminates in an end of the semester project on death and dying rituals in their particular country. Now this is where student content pages comes into play. I use it um, as a vessel for them to present their research project. So students with this tool, it's really great because they can essentially build their own lessons page. So they have control over text, organization. So within this research project, they present information, they organize it, they can change the font, change the style, the organization of where things go, things like the column breaks, the section breaks. They can implement multimedia, things like pictures and different videos on this tool. And I do use this as an alternative to a traditional research paper. And I do get a better final product than I used to with just the presentation or just the paper um, because it's this very integrated assignment that has all these elements and because they're having fun doing it, they want to learn more and so they go off and they actually research more than they need to and they really um, are surprised at how much they learn from each other as well. So I've received a lot of positive feedback from this assignment, com especially compared to when I used to do it as a present, just simply a in-class presentation or a research paper. Students report that they gain a more in-depth perspective of the topic, just death and dying in general, but also the role of culture. They have a much better understanding how it influences our development throughout the lifespan. And again, that's one of my unofficial learning outcomes that I want to really emphasize with these students. Uh, some other comments, some of the more common comments that I get is that it's interesting, it's engaging. Again, this helps with uh, retention and success rates. And finally, something that I often hear in really don't expect to hear and I'm still surprised is that it's fun. I would first make sure that you present clear and specific instructions for what you're expecting and what you want them to do, what the goal of the project is. I would also include a sample. Now I know the first time I did this, I made my own sample, which was a lot of work. Um, but And I have colleagues who don't do that. They just kind of let them go. Um, but students always like to see a sample. And I um, now in my classes, I use a sample from a previous student that they can view. And so they have a, a better idea of this looks like an A. Encourage creativity because and encourage them that this is their own. Um, I always tell my students, this project is your baby. You're assigned this country, but where you want to go with um, how you present the information, if there's a specific group you want to focus on, that's all up to you. Because, And that helps them with making, still keeping it interesting and engaging. 